A single bag of Cheetos leaves one family's lives permanently altered. It seems like there's never enough love to go around in the world today, but that doesn't stop people from trying, especially an eight-year-old named Aaron Moreno. He knew his single mother struggled to give him a decent upbringing, so when the chance to help arrived, he harnessed his love of a cheesy snack to turn his family's luck around. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Aaron Moreno was raised with one key lesson. Love is always the answer. His family understood that the eight-year-old embodied that message, yet he blew their expectations out of the water with one 2020 development. Even from a young age, Aaron wanted to make the world a better place. There's a good reason he's smirking in this photo. He pulled off an extraordinary feat for a struggling mother. On top of being a single mom, she was also an undocumented immigrant. Aaron and his mother lived in a rough area of East Los Angeles, where crime was rampant and everyday life had potential for danger. But Aaron could always rely on one thing to put a smile on his face. Every time he heard the ice cream trucks jingle echoing down the street, he knew it would be chock full of flaming hot Cheetos. His mom always splurged on them when she could, however, it wasn't always easy. Right after the coronavirus pandemic struck, Aaron's mom lost both of her jobs, which meant no more Cheetos. Bernice Pacheco, Aaron's mother, told CNN, It's just $3, but when you don't have a job, it can make all the difference. Aaron knew his mother was financially hit hard by the effects of coronavirus caused to the country, and he managed to earn some money for her after a trip to the local flower district. He used the last remaining 12 bucks his mother had to buy a variety of succulents, which he then sold to a neighbor for a small profit. This simple business exchange suddenly got Aaron thinking. What if that small profit he earned for a struggling mom could increase with more plants? Aaron realized he had lightning in a bottle. At eight years old, he launched a business with the goal of transforming one key aspect of their lives, to move out of the shed they called home. Aaron explained, our shed was hot and crowded and I wasn't happy. I started my business so my mom wouldn't be stressed because I don't like seeing her struggle. He recalled the company Aaron's Garden. Once the business idea was put into play, for months Aaron and his mother would wake up at the crack of dawn to purchase plants at the flower district. Then they'd return home and start selling. Aaron was always picky with what he bought since he was relying on the interest of customers to alleviate his family's financial struggles. Though it may sound surprising, the kid's business venture took off almost immediately. Aaron's mother started posting photos of her son hard at work on her Instagram page, and it seemed like everyone who came across them fully supported the venture. Soon, the whole thing went viral and took off. Suddenly, Aaron was getting hundreds of messages a day from strangers who wanted to purchase plants and show their support. It was surreal that such a small idea blew up so quickly. It was almost going out of control. Then, a few months after Aaron began, a friend of his mother started up a GoFundMe campaign to help even more, and it netted over $40,000. It was a blessing that completely blindsided his mom. Before he started this, we really only had things like tuna to eat, but when his garden saved us, the money from the GoFundMe and Aaron's garden allowed us to buy a car, which we didn't have for four years. Bernice continued, I never thought we could accomplish and come this far. We couldn't believe that we got a house. I admire him for everything he's been able to do that I haven't as a mom. It seemed everyone in the local community was in support of what Aaron was doing, and how could they not be? Years spent bouncing around homeless shelters finally came to a screeching halt. Plus, he was even reunited with his sister. Ten-year-old Aileen Pacheco was sent to Mexico to live with their grandparents because of the financial hardships, but Aaron was able to bring his sister home once he and his mom got on their feet again in a new apartment. His mother said, The best part of what Aaron has done for us is bringing back his sister. It was so hard being without her and we're a whole family again. It's such a blessing. Now Aaron not only has enough money to erase his mom's financial woes, but he also snags a bag of well-deserved Cheetos as often as he can. It's not every day a young kid supports his whole family, but it does happen.